Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a pre-trial hearing in Detroit, Michigan for a sovereign citizen who tries to get one over on the judge. But you know what? Does it really work out for him? Well, I don't think so, but you guys can be the judge of that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we'll call the case of the state of Michigan versus Eric Martin. Case number 23S00425. Assistant Public Defender Chinazi Kariak and Lily on behalf of Mr. Eric Martin. Mr. Martin, could you state your name for the record, please? You're muted, sir. I am a, uh, first of all, I'm a living man um, that has a name similar to the defendant, but I am not the legal fiction corporate entity defendant with the all capital letters name. N nice try, Sovtar, but you can't exactly separate yourself like that from the who you are as a, quote, living person, unquote, and the corporate fiction, as you call it. You are essentially the man they are talking about. You are not a split personality. It doesn't work that way, a smooth brain soft tart. You might as well drop all that out of your uh, arguments because hell, it won't work for you. My name is spelled capital E, lowercase R-I-C, capital M, A-R-T-I, T-I-N. Um... Yeah, so anyways, uh, now this is a special appearance. This is not a general uh, jurisdictional granting appearance. I challenge jurisdiction of this court, as I did in the, at the arraignment. I'm guessing since you are still here, those uh, jurisdiction issues didn't uh, work themselves out at the uh, other hearings now, did they? In fact, I'm sure they were just laughing their asses off about the whole thing, considering you appear to still be going through the process, so obviously it didn't work, and they knew that, and they knew how much of an idiot you are. Um, I didn't mention a special appearance. I meant to. I forgot to do that, but I want to uh, make it clear that I... Uh, that you know, I want to do that for the arraignment too. You know, I'm speaking for that the arraignment too, just like no special appearance. Um, and uh, I am not aware of any contracts that I have knowingly, willingly, and voluntarily entered into Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin. any jurisdictional. Mr. Martin, Mr. Yeah. Martin, do you hear me calling your name? Huh? You hear me calling your name? I just heard yes. Okay. I'm not certain what you're doing, but this is a pretrial and this does not go this way. So first of all, my first issue is it looks like you refuse to have the public defender represent you. Is that what you're indicating, sir? Yes. If any attorneys think they're representing me, they're fired. I will not take no attorneys uh, because they would be giving up my right to be sovereign and to be so you want to be sovereign, so you want to be free from all authority types, is that what you want to do? Okay, what if you need a job? You're going to answer to somebody at that job, or if you reside in a country, uh, well, the legal authorities do have jurisdiction over you because you are on their lands. You just can't go to another country and like South Korea or something like that and drive around Seoul and say that you have no jurisdiction over me and expect them to abide by that. Nope, you gotta follow their rules, their laws in order to survive in their country. Otherwise, they will impose fines on you or imprisonment depending on what laws you break while there or just export your ass back to uh, whatever uh, country you came from because they don't need you. I mean, I'm sorry, but in reality, things just don't work the way you want them to do. Uh, a living human- Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, I heard you. I'm gonna advise you of your rights and what you're giving up today. And then once you decide what you're gonna do after I do that, we'll go from there. Clear? Yep. All right. 
So you uh, have a right to have an attorney in this case. And in fact, this is a charge that involves a misdemeanor. It involves one, two, three misdemeanors at this point in time. Those three misdemeanors do carry jail terms, which is what you could get if you are found and convicted of these particular offenses. And I'm going to read those to you to make sure you fully understand that by giving up an attorney, you will subject yourself to the potential of those penalties and that it is not um, in your best interest to do so, but that is your right to do so. So I have to make sure that this record is clear. As far as driving while license suspended is concerned, that is a misdemeanor, carries a maximum penalty of 93 days and up to $500 fine. As to the other two, those are a maximum of 90 days and up to $100 fine. If you are found guilty, you, the person, the entity, or any of you will uh, potentially go to jail. Did you understand that or did you comprehend that? You uh, paint chip eating moron. She basically said that, well, your corporate self and your uh, living self as well will suffer the penalties for your stupidity as far as these uh, traffic infractions go. So, yeah, it appears that your little uh, arguments are not exactly working in your favor. Now, are they, you yes, simpleton? Do you understand that? Well, I do not understand it, and I do, I do not stand under the charges. Okay, well, you are charged. And you can say you don't understand it. If you don't understand it, then I'll refer you for competency. Oh, I comprehend it, but I don't understand it. And I do not stand under the charges. I don't need no competency. I've been doing law 28 years. I know All right. Well, you, you, you are under the jurisdiction of this court. And I've that is what you're going to do. So Boom. Roasted. So what else would you like to say today? What are you requesting with respect to this? Your options are, first of all, do you want to have an attorney or not? No, I will not accept no attorney because that would be accepting jurisdiction. Court. All right. You have refused to counsel in this particular case. I'm going to appoint the PD as standby. Secondly, do you wish to have this case set for a trial or what would you like to do? The case should be dismissed, as I pointed out in my... Not be dismissed, and sir. I sent to you before. You should have it on your um, desk. By I'm now. asking you right now, do you want a trial, or what do you want to do? The case should be dismissed, as I pointed out, because I was traveling by right. I'm the crime victim here. The cops should be charged in my case. I was traveling by right in my private property, my motorcycle. Mr. And Martin, I would just advise that you don't discuss the underlying case. You're scheduled for a pretrial. So in case you do want to set it for trial, you don't want to um, discuss any issues on the case. Well, well, you know, that's some good advice right there, ma'am. But considering that you're a lawyer, he's not going to listen to you on that because he thinks he knows the law better than anybody who spent years going to a university to get their uh, Juris Doctorate. So basically, he is an uneducated, know-it-all asshole. Who's that speaking? The judge appointed me as standby counsel. Right, well, well, well like I said, any, any lawyers that think they're representing me, they're fired. I don't accept no attorneys. Um, I'm you have to decide whether I appoint standby counsel, sir. Huh? You do not get to decide whether I appoint standby counsel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can appoint who you want. I'm fine. I'm just saying that. They, but in fact, is I fire any attorneys who think they're representing me. I have the right to uh, to speak for myself, to argue for myself, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not accepting the lawyer who's going to then uh, it was going to be fraudulently assumed that I'm a defendant now under the jurisdiction of the court. I have the mm -hmm. right not to, that's why I'm not accepting that. All right. I am, I'm going to set this matter for a jury trial since he is not making any determinations. Sir, this jury trial will be scheduled on October 26, 2020, right for a final settlement conference. Yeah, hold on, let me write that down here. And um, then jury selection will be November 3rd. Oh. Hold 2020. On. 
at 9 a.m. Hold on, I didn't hear you. You said October 26th is the trial date, right? Final settlement conference is what I said. Final settlement conference on one again? October the 26th at 11 a.m. Is that going to be Zoom? Yes, it is. Okay, now, um, now I have a question about, I had um, sent a petition in for a hearing for- uh, Petitions are not recognized in this court and they've been rejected and you received notice for that. You know, I really think you should go ahead and hire yourself an attorney because at this point you are looking about as empty headed as Chile de Castro right now and that's saying something right there because, well, you've gotten owned in every part of this process and you just don't know it because your head is so thick with concrete that nothing gets through. So get yourself a jackhammer, loosen up all that concrete, and get your brain functioning so you can actually go out and hire an attorney and at least have a chance of winning this case. Well, that's not, that denies due process of right, that denies access to the court. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Jury selection in this case will be on November 3rd at 9 a.m., sir. You need to be here in person and ready to go. Bond is continued. Next case. Oh, I like this judge. I mean, she didn't take any BS from him whatsoever. And the whole thing went about as smoothly as it could, despite him trying to set up a bunch of roadblocks to gum up the works. She's probably encountered sovereign citizens before, therefore she knows what she's doing. So at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.